guys, this is Richard Kim, Golden Tee TV. Just moments earlier, Stan Mark yeah, in a tight match against Joe Massara. Takes a win on a hole out. Seventh hole, sudden death. Check it out. Oh, yeah, there you go. Stan Mark and Mark did. So after, uh, what was that? Is that first? Uh, The 2019 Missouri Open, Lance Harris versus Mark Stanmark, where it faces Gossett in the final. We, we know for sure whenever he wins, he'll uh, we'll not win. Just not fire, please. Uh, just not fields. Ah, uh, Catadreas, okay. That'd be interesting. I, I was thinking the same thing with the, the new tee boxes. There's some holes like two. It's sometimes drivable now, uh, whether it's actually from the top of the rocks or um, right behind the, the tall rock in the fairway. It's definitely drivable. Um, hole 18 has a lot of, actually almost all the drivable par fours have almost completely different looks. They're all changed. Yeah. They're really changed, but, but done well. So there's some game changers. We'll see who can get there. I mean, on hole nine, I've seen Evan take a look at the around the left side shot that we all think is unmakeable. I've seen him poke one on, so. He made the comment right when these got released that hole nine is always makeable when it's clearly shut down for 99 percent of the world. Now, this is Several interesting, times. you know, hole one, a hole that you never would have thought ever drivable before. Now, yeah. new tees and uh, I guarantee they'll be chipping this hole. So cushion or chipping, what do you do? I mean, now the one thing that that um, the champ did point out well is that uh, you know it's good for us is Lance uses stout so some of the shots that we might see Lance hit or that you guys see Lance hit on the stream might question it but uh, yeah I didn't think well I knew he was gonna have a chip if he would have hit if he would have hit fairway first he actually could have gotten up there yeah. and I'm fully thinking Mark's gonna have at least that chip I mean, possibly a putt here now I think with how close well He's gonna put. Oh yeah, he might go over the hole. I say, I thought he might. He <laughs> might have had that in the hole for a second. Yeah. I mean, that right there for the ball selection already changed their approach. I mean, I don't play stouts, so I can't tell you what they do, but I know they don't go that far. Yeah. Yeah, they don't get enough of the the wind love. Here you go. He's gonna push this. Chush? Chush. He's like, Chush. Chush. Oh, oh you put that, it to the right. Yeah, that was uh, that was all over the place. He knew it. All right. Mark with the early lead. It's like a couple guys in Michigan also made that. Yeah. So not a drivable look here. No. But one of the new uh, one of the new tee boxes. I'm interested. I'm wondering why Lance goes stouts here, but... Uh, I didn't realize Lance was one of those guys that's now using. Uh, now, Stenmark might be trying to drive this. I mean, I know you, you're, you get a little bit more distance because the elevation change and stuff, but I don't know what he'd be doing otherwise. He's looking for a, a chip or something close. He's not going to make the green, but he's going to have a shot. Uh, I mean, it was close. Yeah. Although he's probably glad he didn't make the green there because then he wouldn't have a putt yeah, Exactly. <laughs> It's going to be a little further out. More of a standard chip here, not a at the hole kind of shot. But he does have that super spin sand wedge. Mm -hmm. um, he is a uh, 
You don't see it too much, but when he uses his thumbs, Lance is, is dangerous with them. There he goes. Wow. Mark's going to have the same kind of look, like you said earlier. Oh, got but with his a lot of sand in front of him. Yeah, I was going to say, he might have to... It's like he's not going to risk it. So I'll go ahead and just... That's actually Move very, on. I mean, it's a smart play because he's already got the one-stroke lead. Why risk it? Uh, but not something you see often in um, matches like this. He's up one. Smart play. It's, it, it's a smart play, but, you know, most of the time guys are so on such a high of, like, doing so well in the tournament, they're like, ah, I'm, you know, I'm not, I can't miss this. But smart to see Stenmark go ahead and, and step back and say, you know what, maybe I should just enjoy the one-stroke lead and not give myself a reason to potentially uh, miss it. This wind and this elevation, I think uh, Lance has the advantage on this hole. He can definitely push past the hole and come back a lot quicker than Mark will. Oh, yeah. everybody doing on this hole i know a lot of people are going through the bridge through the tunnel i've seen a handful of people still go the right way i still go up top and i mean it's like a you know? short box like yeah. this <clears throat> makes sense to go through it yeah. um this is actually a, a, one of the nicer looks i've seen at it but no i'd be worried that i'd end up find, finding a way to clip the rock <laughs> that would hurt but with that five mile, the, wind, the way that wind's blowing, I mean, it sets up almost perfectly for these guys, for Lance to thumb that. Yeah, those stouts just, they stop in the bite. Streaks are going to go past the hole just a little bit. Right. And sit. And I think that actually might be one of the reasons, uh, you know, Lance uses the, the stouts. I mean, obviously the, the, the wind killer is great. Um, but having, you know, I mean, Mark just went backspin. I mean, he, just went he, yeah, he got more spin on his back, mm -hmm. on backspin with uh, stre is he I'm assuming. Stre streaks. Yeah, I'm assuming. You can't tell these days, but Mark's, if not Barrage, it's one of the two. That's what they're you know, popping the pop ball. Yeah, somebody was telling me about uh, a Barrage and why they preferred it over grabbers. and. I'm interested to go back in the office and play around with it because I've just I've been on grabbers for so long. They've just what I'm comfortable with. But you know, like I kind of tell people in the live streams is, you know, sometimes you got to get out of your own comfort zone. And you know, if you're trying to get to that next step or get an extra stroke or two in your game, I mean, these tee boxes really change things up and make a difference too. Yeah, I used barrages three years ago when they came out, two three years, whatever they've been around, mm -hmm. and because they originally were the intermediary between the grabbers and streaks and. I learned quickly the cutting was a lot different than grabbers, and so I went back to grabbers. But the barrages are good balls. Really interested in the fact that uh, or that uh, Lance went around, not in our headsets. Yeah, I mean we hear it because of the music, not through the headset though. Carl uh, asks, "What do y'all think?" Uh, I'm not sure what that's in reference Possibly to. About the streaks. Like Jason has? Well, the, yeah, but it was like a few minutes after oh, that okay. question. So I think it might have been about that setup. I was actually concerned that Lance, I mean, it worked out, obviously, but the fact that Lance oh. went, oh, wow. Lance went around that rock instead of over it. Now, that was, there's a reason why he's there and we're not, but still. Yeah, that was very direct. <clears throat> How about the archers? I never played with them. I don't I think I have either. Um, I'd have to, well, you know, let's see. I think I might be able to pull it up, actually. Are they like the arrows back in the day, the ones that the 180s went the furthest? Yes, I think so. Let me, let me go to like 2009 balls, little arrows. 
You hit a 180, it just flew forever. If you go to goldentee.com and click on the balls mm -hmm. link, oh, your mark just went a little wide. Click on the balls mm -hmm. link. So, here's a hole that I would say got more difficult. Mm -hmm. I liked it between the mountain yes. shots. And now with that around. Instead of people worrying about going in the water by hitting one of the rocks in between, now they're just getting in sand and rough and, Correct. and having two, two, three shots. Again, that's Lance like the second, the second shot where, at least from the top down view, it looks like he is centimeters from hitting that rock. Yeah. Matt, I don't know who Adam is. Well, I know a bunch of Adams, but... Uh, Steve and Kevin are you ones on commentary now, but I'm assuming he's talking about me, but I'm not sure. Red Polo? I don't know who's got a Red Polo in. I mean, I had a Red Polo on the other day. No, oh, yeah. Let's see. It's, we were talking, sorry, Archer. So Archers have the most loft in the game, but they don't have much backspin. Um, they get the d good distance, but I don't know. Because of the because of the woods, like the eight and the six wood, I don't know if you really need the the ball to get such loft. No, I, I think, play streaks like, on this course, and the wall's fine. Yeah, I think it, the one disadvantage would be the lack of backspin, and some of these greens on maybe Catadreus, you know, if we're talking about Catadreus specifically, it's not as bad, but some of these greens are large. And, you know, you need, at least personally, I just like having as much spin as possible. Okay. Oh, wow. That's one of that. Get back even. Thank you, Mr. Tate. Wish uh, you're hanging out with us. Yep. Sure, Mark's at the compound. Oh, yeah. Chilling good. with the fam. Probably playing his home edition. Yep. So nine is a good look. Good win. Push out a little bit. I used this hole when they first changed the boxes and said Kevin to YouTube, but he didn't respond to me because he's uh, a jerk like that. Yeah, I know. Hey, you know, when you're as popular as I am, <laughs> actually, I, for, for those of you that know me personally know that, you know, I like to, for my friends I've had a long time, I, I joke around, give them a hard time. Uh, but I had five people, five brand new players come up to me uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and go, you're Kevin Lindsay. You, you do the live streams. Like, I really enjoy your videos. And it's like, I'm not that guy who's like, oh, yeah, that's me. Like, I love it. Like, I, I'm just not used to that. And it made me smile after talking with some people about it because I'm like, wow, I, I feel like I'm making a difference. You saw Mark click the mountain there and... He's off to the side for his double eagle putt. Now, at least he's still on the fringe, you know, straight fringe. And wow. Okay, for a second, because of this, the tracer, it looked like it went past the hole, and I'm oh, like, right there's, no, there, there's no, there's uh, no, there is no, uh, you know, exciter going off. So, Mark Stenmark, after nine, in the lead by one stroke, all because of that, the distance, the extra distance he got on hole one. Um, so for Mark here, he's going to push this eight just over the hole with the streak tie, I assume, you guys, back right up. There it is. Yeah, those are definitely streaks yeah. with the way that back yeah. spun. Back spun. And you see Lance here, he's going to go over the hole just a tad, and he's going to shoot one club more, and the stouts are back up. Surprised he didn't move the tee back at all. Well, I guess he cut the ball, so. Yeah, he did. Just barely. Oh, and a shocker. Mark is leading the entire tournament. Wow. <laughs> just this 50-man tournament. Now, this is a hole that would have been a swing, just depending on if Mark's balls would have made it. Whereas 10 and a half could fly this and bounce over. But he's choosing, I don't know, he's choosing to go at it. All right, he is. And Mark is going at the hole. He's going to land on top because it didn't carry, but left with that difficult on the mountain chip. Well, Tom Bizzle on YouTube said I make a difference uh, oh, for the better. So yes. thank you. That, I appreciate that. No, I, you know, that's the fun thing about me is that I love this game, and I can sometimes play it halfway decently, uh, depending on the day. But uh, I do appreciate that more and more people reach out. They're like, you know what? Hey, I joke about it on the live stream, but it really is true. I'm 
a decent player who can show some new players how to play. Um, but also, you're going to watch me hit the water sometimes. And you know what? If your game is awful at the time and you watch somebody else hitting the water, sometimes it's fun. Well, Mark almost made the Lance just chose to lay up there in the sand. He did on purpose. It was all. He oh, yeah. He barely just tried to get up and down. He must like this chip. Well, the wind sets up pretty nice. He can barely thumb that to the left. You know, he's going to get a little wind out of that, but, but really not much. Yeah, I mean, he just, again, he loves flirting with those centimeters from the rock walls. Yep. Actually, both these guys top two uh, on the 50-man leaderboard of this contest with uh, pretty crazy. Yeah. Not too many GSPs, but shut up, Al Jazz. <laughs> Somebody's home edition machine's getting cut off tonight, folks. <laughs> but I don't know why. But all kidding aside, um, you know, for those of you that are just joining us here on Golden Tee TV through Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch, uh, Kevin Lindsay here alongside Stephen Kramer. A lot of you guys know him as Puff, the police officer. Huh. I'm going to make a shirt because that actually just, that's the first time I've ever called you <laughs> Puff, the police officer, and it sounds great. No relation to Adam Kramer, even though he's, yes, he's he a is. Great, great Kramer. Yes. Two great Kramers, two great families, two great different families. <laughs> no relation there. Um, but uh, we are live at Hot Shots in St. Charles, Missouri, for the 2018 Missouri Open. Uh, 101 players officially in uh, the main event this weekend. Uh, we had about 125, 130 registered, but I know there were some people that are having travel issues. Um, I know Chicago, where I'm from, thankfully, uh, I was out here where it was 70s, but we got, you know, four to seven inches of snow. A lot of weird weather that uh, I know threw some players' travels off. Uh, but we are happy to be here. You are watching Lance Harris from Arizona take on uh, the 2017 world champ, Mark Stenmark from Texas. Uh, Evan Gossett is your king of the hill, so whoever wins this match will go on to face Evan Gossett in the finals, and will have to beat him twice if they want to be the 2019 Missouri Open champion. So Lance with his stouts, I guess he had a better, better yes. chance in that hole. Mark had Mark would have no part of that. He just wanted to put it up and stick on. Yeah. And Mark is not one to really mess with putting much. So you know there's a good reason he set himself up to be 15, 20 feet out because he has he doesn't want to lose that one stroke lead. Even if he gets wet or misses uh, you know, a a putt or you know, misses a putt wet. Oh Cam, <laughs> tell Puff. Thanks I, for shooting that. I 30. apologize, Cam. <laughs> Yeah, call you know, me call me in my first game, and yeah. Sometimes it just be like that, fam, or whatever the cool kids say these days.
guys, if we're still alive, uh, Richard is working his magic here. So Lance is coming up and down, and it just died in the fringe. So he's going to force Mark just to get up and down here in two. Well, Mark will make it anyway. That's what he did. Crowd rejoices. Mark versus Evan coming up forward. I would say uh, we'll step aside for one second here real quick, and uh, we'll get back to you with Mark Stenmark and Evan Gossie in the finals. answers jesus wow. christ this match just got really exciting this match is making me see jesus <laughs> wow